Hi, my name is Jamie Graves. I'm the Japan Portfolio Manager here at Skernik Wines and Spirits, and we're gonna talk about how to sell sake at your bar or restaurant. First off, sake is delicious. Um, it is something that brings a lot of umami and character to a beverage program, uh, can complement with a lot of different kinds of foods. It's very, very versatile. And particularly as we've seen in recent years, uh, a lot of American chefs are bringing in Japanese ingredients and techniques into their cuisine. And sake is a very natural pairing for that. So how do you lay sake out uh, on a beverage menu? If you're only serving one or two sake, that's pretty easy. You can put it in its own section. Uh, but if you're serving a wide range of sake, there's many different ways to think about uh, laying them out. Do you want to do it by region? Uh, what part of the country is it from? Uh, by the prefecture that the different sake comes from? You can think about doing it uh, by style. Is it fruity? Is it savory? Is it sort of clean and fresh? Or lastly, think about it like wine. Do you want to put it together by the rice that it's made from? Uh, Yamada Nishiki, Omachi, or Hatan Nishiki, something like that. Uh, so if you decide to bring sake into your establishment, uh, what size format you bring in is the next thing to consider. As you might have seen, there's a lot of great cup sake options, sort of individual servings that are generally generally about six ounces or 180 milliliters. Uh, those are the easiest uh, for you and your staff. You've probably seen a lot of the larger bottles around 1.8 uh, liters, which are the most standard size in Japan because they're the most cost effective if you're pouring by the glass. Uh, sake also keeps for at least two weeks, if not longer, once open. Uh, so you're not really gonna be wasting uh, sake in those bottles once you open it. So if you're considering uh, what size pour uh, to serve your guests in the restaurant, I'd say two standard uh, size pours are generally 120 milliliters or about four ounces or 180 milliliters, which is about six ounces. Out of a standard a 720 milliliter size bottle, that's either four uh, six ounce pours or six uh, four ounce pours. Gives you the exact amount you need in that bottle. Having a sake option on your menu automatically provides a conversation point with your guests, something to offer them outside of the standard uh, offerings of beer or wine. Uh, sake is also incredibly versatile and very interesting to pair with a wide range of foods. I think it goes particularly well with shellfish, things like crab and raw oysters, uh, and surprisingly, cheese, charcuterie, and anything that's intensely salted or fermented is particularly good with the flavors you get from a bottle of sake. I often get asked about what the best serving ware is uh, if you're bringing sake into your beverage program. From glassware to ceramics, there's a lot of different options for sake. You will get different experiences out of them, um, and they all provide really different ways to enjoy sake, but honestly, there's no one right answer. So hopefully I've given you a couple things to think about uh, to incorporate sake into your beverage program. Uh, there's a lot of different options in terms of ways of listing it on your menu, uh, standard pour sizes, uh, different servingware to enjoy it out of, and obviously a lot of different ways to enjoy it with food. Come by.